that it was going to happen to you imminently, is what you were, you were saying and tweeting at the time. That's what our foreign minister, uh, Mr. John Baird, said. And that really resonated across the Middle East, that word imminent. So why didn't it happen, do you think? I think um, the Canadian, our, our government was given uh, maybe, I, I really don't know. All I know is that, you know, Canada may have not exerted enough pressure to seal the deal. Um, some of the Egyptian officials here tell us that the Canadian government was not exerting enough pressure to just finalize the deal. You've been very critical of Prime Minister Harper in particular for not doing enough. I'm thankful to the Canadian government for taking on my, you know, this kind of support they gave me, especially the councillor staff here in Egypt who have done a lot for me in terms of making sure I'm fine everything. But yes, you know, the, the Prime Minister, I called on him, Amnesty did, Human Rights Watch did, my lawyer Amal Clooney wrote him several times asking him to just, you know, make that phone call, you know. With do, do you know for a fact that he didn't make the phone call? I know for a fact that he didn't because, you know, my fiance visits the presidency and she visits the ministers and she sits around with the junior ministers in the presidency and I know he did it. You know, I'm asking him to do so because the, you know, the deportation decree is very clear. The prisoner is, can be transferred at any time of the judicial process. That means I could be deported before my next court hearing and maybe after that next court, court hearing, if it's a face saving manner that the Egyptians are trying to implement before the next hearing. Mm -hmm. So I really hope that the Prime Minister is listening to me right now 